Did Apple finally fix the crappy camera on the studio display? Let's test the new update. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, I implore you to please go ahead and subscribe and enable the notifications so you don't miss a single video. So Apple has just released the next beta of macOS Monterey 12.4. And alongside that, it also released an initial beta of the Studio Display Update 15.5. And in that 15.5 update, Apple claims that it has made some significant improvements to the quality of the built-in camera. And that is what I'm gonna be testing in this video. Did Apple actually make substantial changes? And is the Studio Display camera now good? Let's go ahead and put it to the test. I kept everything in the studio where I have control over the lighting. I recorded a few video clips of myself before the update, then I performed the update of macOS 12.4 as well as the beta of 15.5 and verified it within the system report on that monitor. Once the studio display was updated and macOS was updated, I went ahead and recorded the same videos, more or less, to see how much of a difference there were. So it's still me, same time of day, um, just a little bit later, same lighting, same everything between the two videos. And I wanna see if you can tell the difference. So here they are side by side. Can you tell the difference of which one is before the update and which one is after the update? Just take a look at them for a few moments here and then I'll reveal. Okay, now you can see which one is which? Were you surprised? Did you guess it correctly? Did you get it wrong? Let me know down below in the comments what you think between the two of these, but in my opinion, I think it is improved just a bit. It does look like there's a little bit less noise overall. It doesn't look as like kind of blocky, so maybe some additional smoothing going on, but it looks like the camera is still relatively the same quality. Apple may have made some tweaks to its optimization, but it isn't a whole new camera. It still looks fairly crummy for a webcam. And even the front-facing cameras on our iPhones look better than the one here does on the studio display. And honestly, that's just so disappointing to me that the quality is just not as good as Apple's other cameras. Apple has such a high pedigree with cameras, it's distressing that the studio display at its price tag has such a bad camera built into it. I really had high hopes that Apple was gonna optimize some stuff. And I will say this is still the first beta of this 15.5 for the display and Apple could continue to tweak it. But to me, the biggest takeaway here is that if this is what it looks like after Apple did make some changes, I'm not expecting a major transformation going from beta to beta before the public release. If you really wanna have a good webcam, really high quality, you're probably gonna to need to look at some sort of external webcam or some other option than what's built in to the studio display. So let me know what you guys think. I think it's definitely a step forward. Framing is also better with center stage, keeping you in frame as you move around. It didn't seem to be as tight in some of the shots that I was testing out. So it's maybe a, a hair or wire doesn't get as tight in on your face. So I think Apple did improve some framing things there, but overall, I'm a little disappointed, but what about all of you? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. We had a whole lot more videos coming your way.